The lawmaker's letter says South Africa has filed a grossly unfounded case against Israel, writing to Washington's top diplomat to express their collective disgust at the filing, which they believe perpetrates false and dangerous allegations against Israel. The group says it strongly supported the stated White House position that the application was meritless, counterproductive and completely without any basis in fact whatsoever. The letter adds that South Africa's accusation of genocide exposes how far Israel's enemies would go in their attempts to demonize the Jewish state while barely acknowledging the Hamas massacre on October 7th. That said, a number of countries have come out in support of South Africa's case with their foreign ministers articulating their positions during a meeting of the Security Council on Gaza this past Tuesday. I'd also like to refer to South Africa's initiative in particular. South Africa has petitioned the International Court of Justice in response to the genocidal war that is underway in Gaza. There's also another initiative, Chile's initiative, Mexico's initiative. They have uh, filed a complaint with the ICC the International Criminal Court, given the very serious crimes being committed by Israel in Gaza. All of these initiatives deserve recognition and support because they represent a step in the right direction. We call on these various bodies, these international judicial bodies, to uphold their responsibilities and to implement their mandate. There is a big discussion globally, internationally, about uh, what is actually happening in Gaza. And, uh, I said when I heard about this that I was glad that Israel decided to turn up and defend themselves and we now actually have uh, a conversation at the highest uh, body of international law at the International Court, ICJ, in uh, The Hague. Uh, and, uh, and of course their decision matters. These are questions that are best dealt with by, by a court. And uh, now it is in the court and we follow that with great uh, interest. And of course, as you know, I'm sure you know, uh, the court might, might decide to take some intermediate steps uh, if it sees that there's a note merit. But I'm not going to pronounce myself on what I think the court should decide because that is a question for the court. The situation in Gaza and West Bank clearly demonstrates who needs security and the right to self-defense most. Israel commits serious war crimes. Those responsible must be held accountable to restore faith in international law and the rules-based order. We are seriously concerned with the reports that Israel's war crimes in Gaza may amount to genocide. We welcome the application before the International Court of Justice concerning the violations by Israel of its obligations under 1948 Genocide Convention. It's a timely attempt to protect the Palestinian people against further harm. I should also underscore the urgent need to provide the necessary facilities for the return of the people of Gaza to their own areas and the settlement of displaced and homeless people and the help of the international community for the reconstruction of infrastructure. We support the recent action of the South Africa to bring this case to the International Court of Justice. Malaysia demands accountability for Israel's clear violation of international law. We welcome and support the decision by South Africa to institute proceedings against Israel before the International Court of Justice. The lack of accountability for Israel's war crimes undermines the legitimacy of international law and efforts towards ending the illegal occupation of Palestine. Accountability for crimes against humanity which were committed and continue to be committed against the defenseless Palestinian people must be ensured. In this context, my country welcomes the step taken by the Republic of South Africa, which filed a case before the International Court of Justice against the Israeli occupation for committing the crime of genocide against the brotherly Palestinian people. Reports suggest the ICJ decision on provisional measures requested by South Africa could be imminent. Sherwin Bryceby's SABC News, New York.